Awards. He's comedy royalty, he knows talent, and he was the biggest selling author of 2017. As David Williams returns to the judge's throne, Good Morning Britain speaks to the always shy and retiring star... Me, on the stage. ...about being the busiest man in show business. David Williams, tomorrow on Good Morning Britain. Ooh, now that's worth talking about. Getting inspired this morning with Lorraine. Sponsored by Onken. Good morning to you and here's what's coming up this morning. Are they human bats? Dawn French is here ahead of the return of Little Big Shots at 20 to 9. She's telling me why she almost turned the programme down. And then... Do you miss me? Always. Good boy. Ah, Nessa from Gavin and Stacey. In 20 Minutes with Jones reveals how Jackie Collins has inspired her latest venture. And following Aunt McPartland's conviction for drink driving yesterday, Dan Wooten is here with news on what's next for the star. And as Jenny McAlpine prepares to take a break from the street, can Fizz ever forgive Tyrone for his one night stand? Well, Jenny McAlpine and Mark Hayes are with me all morning. It's so good to see you. It really is. And congratulations. Thank you very much. It's great Lorraine. news. We're going to talk loads about Baby and all of that and Cory <laughs> and everything. Yes. Later. But Mark is on a mission. Yes, it is Ditch Your Black Tight Day. Wow. It's official. Oh, That's okay. right. The sun's out. It's time to get the legs out. That's right. Okay. So I want to help women feel confident to get <laughs> the legs out. Not convinced. <laughs> Not convinced that was, at all. That was negative force, as I was feeling there, <laughs> if I'm being honest. If I'm being... You know what? I've got some, like, some really good Baby there tights. OK. Are you ready? Ready to get your legs out, Jenny? No, not no, a chance. not at all. I haven't even <laughs> bought my razors yet. Oh, no, right. Oh, there's all that. that point. There's okay. all that to be done. Um, no, yeah. I was I worried. I didn't go down the depilation <laughs> route. I didn't realise this was Oh, an issue. God. I was worried with these jeans because they're a little bit short. And I thought, well, can you sit? No, we're fine. Um, no, Maxi, Maxi not skirts. ready. Maxi skirts. All right, OK. Possibly. We can do it. Well, we've, got an, we've asked a nation. Are oh, they yeah. ready for okay. it? Um, on Instagram. So head on there so you can continue to vote. At the moment, 31% say yes, they're ready to bear the legs. 69% are saying not a chance. I think <laughs> we go. the majority. Mm. Yeah. I think I think it's just it just feels too soon. Mm. Indeed. Really? I think you're lovely today. Well. I've got some beautiful skirts as little as 13 pounds. Oh, great. Oh, well. nice. Yeah, lovely. Let's max it. We'll sit, have a cup of tea <laughs> and we'll be talking to you loads more. OK. It's great to see you. It Thank really you, is. Ray. Right now, though, Aunt McPartland makes most of the front pages after, of course, he pleaded guilty yesterday to drink driving. The Mirror leads with a photo of the clearly upset presenter with the headlines Ant's Guilt, while the Daily Express goes for shamefaced and The Sun simply reads, sorry I let you down, relating to his short statement outside the court. I just want to say I'm truly sorry for what happened. Um, higher standards are expected of me. I expect them of myself. I let myself down. I let a lot of people down. For that, I'm truly sorry. I'd like to apologise to everybody involved in the crash. And I'm just thank thankful Nobody was seriously hurt. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Well, Dan uh, joins me now. So, what do you think? Where does he go from here? Well, he looked like a broken man did. yesterday, yeah, didn't he, did. he? I always think in these type of cases, around it's not about the £86,000 fine, as people have pointed out, and because of his wealth, could pay that in probably about four days. But it's about what this means to him. You know, the judge saying it will have quite an impact on you to know you're no longer a man of good character. I mean, for people oh. who say that he hasn't faced a punishment for this. He most mm. definitely has. But, of mm. course, now, according to people close to Ant, the most important thing for him is his recovery. Okay. So he's expected to go straight back into really intensive rehab. And, obviously, we know that he's off work, not presenting the live shows of Britain's Got Talent, potentially off work for the rest of the year. So I think sure. now that he's apologised and obviously pled guilty and faced the legal mm. side of things, it's going to be about fixing himself. Absolutely. And meanwhile, Deck holds the fort. Exactly. Doesn't he? And, and did it beautifully, actually. Absolutely. So Absolutely. he can do that and... No, he'll be great. He'll be great. Dick will be. So it's just a tough situation, isn't it? It is. It's very, it's very difficult for, for both of them. And, and hopefully, 
it'll get better. It'll get better. Right now, this is this is just extraordinary. This story. Congratulations in order for Jesse J. But it's so bizarre. Extraordinary is the only word for this. So Jesse J. Just a reminder. You know, a couple of years ago, oh, huge, one of the biggest star. superstars in the world, topping all of the international charts, yeah. duetting with huge celebrities. Well, Lorraine, for the last three months, she's been full time in China right. on the Chinese version of The X Factor, which is called Singer. So, not as a judge, by the way, I should point out, <laughs> or a coach say. or anything like that, as a contestant. Really? So, on this show, they get pop stars from around the world to compete against each other, but it's absolutely X Factor style. And she's only gone and won it in front of a billion viewers. Now, while I'm obviously very proud of Jess, I think we have to say there may have been some financial motivation for going on this show initially, given China is this really lucrative market. Yeah. But what's extraordinary, and actually I've posted the clip from the final on my Twitter page, actually, because I was just obsessed watching it this morning, because she's treated like a goddess over really? there. So she comes out and the audience are literally sobbing as really? they watch her perform. Uh, I will grown men are crying. By, by what you said. Yeah, there's literally a grown man after the performance who just hugs her and breaks down sobbing. The other thing that's really interesting is she says, that the Chinese people have finally accepted her as she is, because remember, Jessie always has that thing that people sometimes thought she was a big too, big, big too, big, big, big for her boots. Big, oh no, I'm with you on that one. Struggling I have that. experienced um, it, yes. And also, <laughs> <laughs> and also um, she says that she feels like China is now a second home. I bet it is with a billion fans. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine, for goodness sake, if every one of them buys your song or downloads exactly. it, you're all right. But it you? does just show you though, doesn't it? For all of those divas at the top of the charts at the moment, Chinese X Factor is just around the corner. <laughs> if you annoy enough people, <laughs> do a lipper. That's a warning to you. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Now, tell me news, because actually I find this really disturbing and because oh, we love yeah. Conchita. Conchita's been on the show many just times. Just here the other day. Gorgeous, gorgeous person. Really, really lovely. Um, and has been through a really tough time right now. Well, that's right. Diagnosed with HIV yeah. a number of years ago, but she had decided to keep the diagnosis private. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday on Instagram revealed the news that while um, she had been HIV positive for many years, it was irrelevant to the public, but an ex-boyfriend is threatening to go public and I will not give anyone the right to frighten me or affect my life. Now, Obviously, Conchita's had treatment for several years, given sure. given how advanced HIV treatment is now. The, you know, the, the, the virus is at such a low point, she wouldn't even be able to pass no. it on to anyone. But actually, it was interesting yesterday to see the HIV charities like Terence Higgins Trust and everything come out and say, this is another incredible move because she's been so brave to actually face sure. that threatening... Um, how dare somebody oh, do that to someone? That is somebody that Absolutely you once disgusting. shared your life with. To do that to you, totally. it's tantamount to blackmail. It's absolutely disgraceful. Well, no, it absolutely. I, I mean, it Conchita. absolutely is, is blackmail. But actually, you know what? Being able to own this situation, totally. I think, will be incredibly empowering for her. And you know what? I mean, Conchita's been a mould breaker right from you the betcha. start, hasn't she? Winning right. Eurovision as, <laughs> as 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 the bearded lady, and I just feel like this is another step in that incredible journey. And Conchita's fine. Yep. Health-wise, absolutely yep. fine. So, which is amazing when you think that you're right with the steps of going, you know, medically and scientifically. It's just fantastic. Good, good for Conchita. That's what we say. Thank you, Dan. Thank you very much indeed. Right in just a moment. I can't believe that both. I can't believe it's not butter and the stuff that I can't believe is not. I can't believe it's not butter. Are both, in fact, not butter. <laughs> Oh, I loved her so much. The unforgettable Alice. Dawn Friend shares her memories of the Vicar of the Blues, Emma Chambers. For that, though, competition time. Good morning and welcome to the Albert Dock here in Liverpool. We are here because I've got another chance for you to win this huge cash prize of £105,000. It's a huge amount of money. Just get thinking about what you'd do with that sort of money. You'd get in your bank account an extra, what, eight grand a month for an entire year? That's money that could really make a difference. It's spring, there's things that need doing around the house. In the summer, maybe you want to take a fantastic holiday or maybe some winter sunshine in the winter, if you see what I mean. Anyway, the money could be yours. Somebody wins every one of our competitions and this time it really could be you. And here's how. For another chance to win, text CASH to 65557. Text costs two pounds plus one standard network rate message or go to the website. Entries cost two quid. You can call 09068 78557. Calls cost two pounds plus your network access charge or post your name and phone number to BK14, PO Box 7558, Derby, DE10 and Q. 
Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 2 p.m. on Friday, the 4th of May. May the 4th be with you. Good luck. <laughs> £105,000 is a life-changing amount of money. Spend it, save it, do what you like, but you've got to be in it to win it. Good luck. Thank you, Andy. Now, thanks to Dawn French's work with Jennifer Saunders and, of course, the Vicar of Dibley. She's given us some of TV's funniest moments. And this weekend, she is back to create some more. Could I hang on the curtains at my own home, do you think? Do you think that she would be able to do it like on the shores? No, it's Oh, it's adorable. And ahead of the return of Little Big Shots this Sunday, Don French joins me live from beautiful Cornwall. It's such a feel-good show, Don. It really is. It just makes you smile all the way through. Yes. Yeah, morning, Lorraine. Yeah, it is. It's, it's fantastic fun to make. And uh, I just love spending time with these kids. It gives me a chance to be a kid. It does. And, but you've got such a brilliant rapport with them. It's, it's actually quite a skill to be able to talk to children without being patronising or without, you know, trying to be too friendly. You've just got that balance right. And they're so comfortable with you. It's lovely to watch. Oh, thank you for saying that. I mean, I, I agreed to do this show because I enjoy time around kids. I'm a grandma in waiting, you know. <laughs> so this is my chance to be around some kids and play, frankly. I know, and that's what it's like. It's really good. You weren't sure at first, though, when it was first offered to you. You were maybe sort of like a little bit hesitant at the start. Yeah, because, you know, this is a presenting job and I know that presenting is a skill and it's not one that I've done very much of. And I didn't know how quick I would have to be. I didn't know if we'd have enough time with the kids, but we do. We have plenty of time with each kid so that we can relax them a bit, so that they come into the studio beforehand. They don't meet me until they actually meet me. Right. Uh, but, you know, I just didn't know if this was something I had the skill to do. But the minute I started to do it I thought oh, I love this show because there's no um, judges there's no I mean I love those shows don't get me wrong that's my guilty pleasure those kind of shows <laughs> but uh, but this is children so you know no judges no can um, no buzzers no eliminations no disappointments it's just kids uh, doing what they love doing for the fun of it you know and, and just having fun Exactly. It's not snarky in any way. And the whole family can enjoy it. Does all your does no. your whole family watch? Do you tend to watch yourself? Are you okay to do that? Because a lot of people don't like it. <laughs> well the, you know, the interesting thing about my family is that they have absolutely no interest in anything I've ever done. <laughs> and that's the truth of it. <laughs> <laughs> my own husband has hardly ever seen me on the TV. <laughs> he just doesn't really watch TV very much. And I'm hardly likely to force him to sit and watch me. <laughs> and my kids kind of know that I do a thing, but they don't particularly make an appointment to watch it. <laughs> so it doesn't really come into our family life, you know to be honest. I think but my in-laws yeah. like this show, so that's good. I, was, I think that's quite refreshing, actually. I think that's really good. Now, look, you're in your favourite place in the world. Is Cornwall where you are the most happy? Yeah. Most definitely it is. It's where I've spent most of my life. I mean, my dad was in the RAF, so we travelled a lot. But um, the majority of my family are from Cornwall and the other part are from Devon. So it's like the Wars of the Roses. You know, we've got the Tamar River and some of them are from Devon, some are from Cornwall. But my mum lived down here, my brother lives here. So, yeah, this is, it's, it, I, I've got Cornish blood in me and I'm always happy when I'm here. Although I have to say, last night, huge storms. And I live right on the coast and whole house was battered last night. So I'm going to go back in a minute and see if it's still there. Oh, I hope it is. That would be terrible. That would be terrible. Now, look, I loved you. I loved I you so much as Kim Kardashian when you did the French and Saunders reunion. It was genius. <laughs> Absolute genius. You've got to do more. Please did do you more. Think that, did you think that that was... A, say again, sorry? You've got to do more of that. 
<laughs> if I can persuade Fatty Saunders to do more, we will. Good. And I bet you thought that was an add-on bottom, didn't you? But it wasn't. <laughs> that was my own actual bottom. Well, I'll tell you what, that was a bottom and a half. That was a cracker. And I've, so it was just it was. absolutely it hilarious. Was. It was brilliant. You've been in so many, so many, many good things. I absolutely loved The Vicar of Dibley. And I know it was so, so sad about Emma because Emma is Alice. Yeah. was kind of, I mean, obviously you were at the heart of the show, yeah. but so was she. And she was just great. It oh, wouldn't absolutely. have been the same without her. Yeah, yeah. It, this has been a very shocking and sad loss. Um, you know, far too young and um, I think we're all still reeling a little bit from it. But I have to say, my memories of working with Emma are some of my most favourite memories of my whole career because she's a massively uh, diligent person and much unlike Alice. She was <laughs> incredibly bright, you know, very yeah. funny, very knowing, and yet she was able to play somebody who was you know, in a different world. She didn't play a simpleton. She played someone who had a, a different reality. And, and she was incredibly authentic at that. And I, I will miss that. Oh, I, I loved it. I loved the wedding when she had the Teletubbies coming down the aisle. It was just a joy. Yeah. You just smile thinking about yeah. her. You really do. It was great. And the jokes at the end that she never quite yeah, got. Definitely. Because you're right, she was, in a, she was in a different world yeah. to the rest of us. But we will have those programmes to, to remember. She was. And I have to tell you, Lorraine, <laughs> To play, to play a, a clown in a way like that, it takes a lot of hard work. You have to learn things very particularly. I mean, that little bit about the I can't believe it's not butter, she took a whole week to learn that <laughs> correctly because yes. the emphasis was very important. But, you know, she did it really well. Beautifully. Really well. Absolutely beautifully. Don, it's a joy to yeah. talk to you. Thank yeah. you so much for talking to us this morning. Really appreciate Thanks. it. We'll be watching it 7 o'clock on Sunday on ITV. Thank and thank you so much. That's right. Sunday. Sunday nights at last, because last year it was on a Wednesday, so yeah. it's on a Sunday now. That's perfect. I think it's perfect. I think that's yeah. where it suits. Go back and see whether your house is still there. And thank you for talking to thank us. Thank you, Lorraine. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, I love Cheers. that woman. I love her. I love her. She's amazing. Right, after the break. Happy belated birthday. That's a little something from the both of us. Oh, thanks, Ness. No worries. I ordered you anyway for that Chinese. Another wonderful woman, eight years after Gavin and Stacey ended, Ruth Jones reveals what she thinks Nessa might be up to now. Corrie's Jenny McAlpine has just announced that she's expecting another baby. In ten minutes, she'll tell me how it'll cause havoc for Fizz and Tyrone. And find out the painful lengths that Gary Barlow goes to to ensure that he's in top shape for his fans. Having fun this morning with Lorraine. Sponsored by Onken. Real photos. Real books. Real music. You can't beat real, can you? Real FaceTime. Real likes. Real kisses. No, real kisses. We should be here! Real maps. We're not. OK, maybe not maps. But definitely real food. The crumbly, the spicy, the messy and the Moorish. That's why we only put real food ingredients into kettle chips. Really. Hello, I'm Katie from Boots Up Tissue. Hi, Katie. Nice to meet you. I'm Victoria. Nice to Hi. meet you. Have you ever worn glasses before at all? I'm supposed to, but I'm not sure they suit me. We'll be able to help you here at Boots. I feel like, you know... Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are the ones. Buy any pair of glasses and get all additional pairs half price. Boots Opticians. Let's feel good. At Hillary's, we don't just want you to like, we want you to love. And you'll love the savings on hundreds of made-to-measure blinds, curtains and shutters. But hurry, our spring sale ends soon. You'll love our silk white shutters, Esther Roman blinds, Norfolk roller blinds and Malva curtains, all 50% off. Hurry, sale ends 23rd of April. Call 0800 916 1010 or visit hillarys.co.uk to request a free home appointment today. Hillary's, you'll love what we do. So he finally sold the house. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Did you use purple bricks? Why would I? They're just online. No, they're proper estate agents, real people. You just don't pay commission. No commission? No. Ah, commisery.
The misery you feel when you spent thousands on commission but got nothing more for your money. Save yourself from commissary at purplebricks.co.uk. Because your carpet never stops working, there's Vanish Gold Carpet Care. With five times more benefits than vacuuming alone, it lifts more dirt and pet hair whilst softening every fibre. Vanish Gold Carpet Care. Five times more benefits than vacuuming alone. When stress piles up, heartburn and indigestion can strike. Gaviscon Double Action neutralizes excess acid, soothing heartburn and forming a protective barrier. That gives you long-lasting relief to help get you through your day. For fast, long-lasting relief, choose Gaviscon Double Action. For my sensitive skin, I only trust an expert. Mixa Sensitive Skin Expert created Seeker Repair Balm. Enriched with apothecary-inspired ingredients, intensely soothes dry skin, rough patches and hands. My sensitive skin trusts Mixa. Sensitive Skin Expert. Available at selected retailers. Disgraceful! Disgusting. Bold. Lavender and chamomile. Reminds me of home. Slippers! New Bold 3-in-1 Pods. Clean, soften and freshen. Bold takes you home. Always keep away from children. How old do you think I am? Do you think I'm less than 100? Bold, bold. God, your dad's gorgeous, isn't he? Small but perfectly performed. All new Little Big Shots starts Sunday at 7 on ITV. Having fun this morning with Lorraine. Sponsored by Onken. All right. No school? No, what about you? No, oh, dentist. No, I just told him I didn't fancy it today. What, and they just let you have the day off? Yeah. Oh. Well, Welcome back. Now, that was Jenny McAlpine's first appearance in Coronation Street with Sarah Louise back in 2001. In five minutes, I'll be talking to her about spending half her lifetime as Fizz and, of course, her exciting baby news, which is fantastic. Right now, though, my next guest, Ruth Jones, embarking on a new career as a writer of a novel. She's got a track record, of course, in creating memorable characters. Last year, we all said a tearful goodbye to Stella after five years on our screens, and nobody's ever going to forget the force of nature that was Gavin and Stacey's Nessa. While I remember, happy belated birthday. That's a little something from the both of us. Oh, thanks, Ness. No worries. I owed it to you anyway for that Chinese, so it's not really a present. But times are hard, and I got a baby on the way. Where's the thought that counts? I know. Uh Oh, oh God, that silver paint was oh, awful. Good, just <laughs> good times. Really, yeah, really, really yeah. good times. Absolutely great. <laughs> now, look, you obviously are a writer, of course. You've created some incredible characters, as we said. But now, so it's no surprise, really, that you've written a book. I know. I'm so chuffed about it. It was actually a screenplay that I wrote about 15 years ago, oh. and then nothing came of it. And then I rediscovered it a couple of years ago, and I just oh. thought... Hmm, it's a good story there. So I wonder if it would turn in, could turn well into a novel. So that's what I did. And that was the starting point, which is great. Yeah. So you've got the, the, the germ of the idea did it? Yeah, and I had yeah. the sort of the story mapped out. So I had a sort of uh, yeah, I had something to guide me sure. en route. And she's <laughs> she's an actress, but it's all about kind of I suppose taking second chances, taking yeah, advantage of things a, and not being too scared to go for it. It's set in 1985, it starts in 1985, and uh, Kate has an affair with a married man with two kids, one on the way. It ends quite horribly, and then 17 years later, Kate has now become a successful actress. She goes back to her old school in Edinburgh to have a, a like a centenary visit as yeah. a, a VIP, and uh, she bumps into the guy who she had the affair with because oh. he's a teacher mm -hmm. there. So it's uh, and it's really what they should have done is gone. Uh, oh hi, yeah, we had a thing, didn't we? Uh, <laughs> anyway, bye. And gone their separate ways, but they don't. No, and it's indeed. all a bit messy. It does get messy, but mm. it's a great read. It's a real page turner. You definitely want to find out what happens next. Oh, thank I could you. see it being, you know, being a drama, easily <laughs> being a drama or a movie. I mean, it is very cinematic when you're reading it. Yeah, I guess because it was originally a screenplay, sure. it was sort of written 
like in almost in scenes in a way. Mm. So, uh, but I just wonder because of the time scale. So it goes 1985 to 2002, yeah. and then up to the modern day. And you think mm. you'd have to get a really versatile actress who could play <laughs> 24, 41, 50 something. You know, it's. Sort of... <laughs> you can do amazing things with CGI. Yeah, it would wigs. be absolutely fine. <laughs> and you know, we're just talking to Dawn French, and she's kind of encouraged you to do this, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she did. She, she, uh, uh, we would. I think it was when we were doing the comic relief um, mm. sketch, the Vicar of Dibley. Oh, that was sketch yeah, really and great. she had written because I'm, I'm a big fan of dawn's novels i think she writes she's got a really unique way mm. of writing and uh and i said oh I, I i wish i could do that she said go for it you should go for it so so i did you did <laughs> and you and good for you you're chuffed with this and quite right yeah really really pleased because it's very different you know right i love writing for screen mm. but when you write for um writing a novel you just get to go inside the characters heads more yeah. in a way that you you can't necessarily do on screen so you know what they're thinking what their attitudes are yeah. and that kind of thing no it's great and you what i love about you is you said jackie collins big inspiration <laughs> jackie yes. collins and you met of course jackie collins was one that you called one of the characters in <laughs> gavin stacy jackie collins yeah so, did yeah. she like that was she all right with that Oh, she loved it. In fact, she uh, invited me and my husband out for dinner on the on the back of that. <laughs> she was so chuffed. Fantastic. Yeah, we had dinner with her just Aww. because she was. Re I think she was really complimented that she but, was in Gavin and Stacey. But I really like the fact that Jackie Collins was a brilliant writer. Anybody oh, yeah. says she was great. She did exactly. She made you want to turn the page. That's yeah. exactly what it's all yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. But I love the fact that you go. Oh yes, you were very influenced by Tolstoy and. <laughs> 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 oh, yes, yes, yes. But no, Jackie Collins quite right. Well, I didn't... I went for an interview for Manchester University back in the day and uh, they asked me what my bedtime reading was and I went, uh, Jackie Collins, Hollywood Wives. And I didn't get a place. Ah. Yeah, I didn't get ah. a place. <laughs> see, more fool see, there. More fool there. <laughs> but I love that because Tom Hanks, who's, who's taken his turn at writing as well, as well as being a movie mm. star, and Tom Hanks was asked at a book festival, who's your favourite author? And they're all expecting somebody, you know, Steinbeck yeah. or something. Maeve Finch, he said. Oh, and right. I love that because Maeve is a legend. Right, yeah. And I'm a huge yeah. fan of hers too. So it just shows you it's all about the story, isn't it? And that's the thing about this book. It's the story that grabs you and you mm. want to find out what's going to happen next. Yeah, I think so. I mean, a lot of people now have read it and they uh, so many people have said to me I thought oh, I'll, I'll just read one more yep. chapter and then I'll put it down and yep. they kept going and my sister sent me a text saying oh well thanks a lot it's now 3 30 <laughs> in the morning and I've oh. stayed up reading it till then but that's, that's what an author wants to hear yeah, that's what exactly. an author wants you can stop people from going to sleep that's amazing <laughs> and they're up at three o'clock it's brilliant but as well as doing this do you think you'll do some more are you going to concentrate on telly are you going to be able to get both of them well I've uh, it's a two book deal Excellent. I've got with Transworld so um I I'm going to uh, spend the summer writing the second one. But the problem is, you know, I had a screenplay to base this one on. I've got no idea for the right. second one. Right, OK. So uh, It'll if come anybody's to you. got any ideas, <laughs> just let me know. It'll come to you. It'll come to you. <laughs> Do you know, I know everybody talks to you about Gavin and Stacey, but it's only because people loved it so sure. much. Sure, yeah. And sometimes, do you ever think sometimes, I wonder what they're doing? I wonder what they're what are they up to? What's what 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 could oh, they be doing the now? The characters. Yeah. yeah well, James and I were talking about this the other day, and I was saying that I think that um, Baby Neil, who's now probably about eleven, yes, is uh, he, Nessa's training him down the slots. Do so, you think? Uh, yeah, she's training him in the art of of the dodgy grabber machine and all that kind of thing, and how well, to weight the two pences. And... That probably would work very well. <laughs> we kind of we kind of did a thing of what we thought he might look like. Now, what do you think? Because <laughs> look, there's a bit. It's a bit a bit demonic. It's like. That looks like it's got a bit of James Corden in it, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, 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 it has indeed. Yeah, it's he, got his mummy's eyes. The though. only thing that's missing, he should have a couple of earrings, I think. A couple of earrings. And a tattoo on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love we love those characters. Absolutely love them. Ruth, this is a great read. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed. Never greener out now. Yes, out, out now right indeed. Now. Fantastic. Good luck with it, and I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it and on screen. It would be great. Well, really, we'll really see. Good. I mean, I'm just enjoying it as a novel at the moment, yeah. but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? Big Hollywood movie. It would be amazing. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you. Thank you so much. And still to come between now and 9:25, taking inspiration from these stars, Mark has spring-inspired skirts for as little as 13 pounds. Right now, though, over the weekend, Corrie's Jenny McAlpine shared the very good news. She's expecting her second baby. However, on screen, her character Fizz has had not very much to celebrate recently. I am so sorry. No, not you. Listen, I made a mistake. I was drunk and I will regret it for the rest of my life. Who? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It matters. You brought some tart into my house, into my bed, while Ruby was sleeping in the next room. And you sit there and tell me it doesn't matter. Who? 
really. Jenny joins me now. Poor Fizz. Oh, poor Fizz. Poor Fizz. Poor Fizz. But you know what, Lorraine? A few people are saying to me, poor Tyrone. No. Yes, they are. No, 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 I'm sorry. They he are. Was, because he was an idiot. <laughs> exactly. But then, you know, and then I lied about hope and that kind of... Hmm. So now they, now they feel sorry for him. No, yes. I don't think so. Well, feel... good. I'll tell him you don't. <laughs> got to tell him. He'll be annoyed. He'll be annoyed. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank Isn't you. Isn't it great news? Thank you very must much. must be absolutely thrilled. When is the baby due? So, uh, we're due um, uh, October. October. Right. And, um, yeah, although on Twitter when I when I said it, that a uh, few people were confused because I did a little typo because I have a baby brain. <laughs> I still have baby brain from the last one. Um, uh, who's three and a half now, but I still blame everything I do wrong <laughs> on the fact that I've just... I say, I've just had a baby, and then I think, no, I'm not. He's going to go to school. I've had a baby. Um, so, yeah, so I said, I said, per little boy instead of our little boy, ah. which then people got confused and thought that... that um, the cat was having a baby. No, it's me. No, it's definitely you. It, it definitely is. Is this yeah. because when you were out in the jungle, when you came back out, out of it, you were just so happy to see one another? <laughs> <laughs> you think it was that? It, 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 it's it might be. It's quick after, isn't it? Yeah. It's good. A few people have suggested that. Well, it just shows you the magic, <laughs> the absolute magic <laughs> of being in that jungle. It can work. Now, look, in Coronation Street, because they're somehow, as your little bump gets bigger and bigger, yeah. they're somehow going to have to cover that up, Jenny. Mm. So what are what we going to do? Is there going to be a small child? That'd be good. Well, that, not for long, but that would be quite good. Little flowers. If I could come holding that, carrying hey. that in as I'm, as I'm doing. Then maybe the tray underneath. That hey. Then we'd have to get the table. Trays would work. Oh, baskets of laundry. Basket of laundry. Basket. She's usually, yeah. you know, Fizz yeah, does do a lot, a lot anyway, of laundry. Yeah. So hey. The basket of laundry is good. Um, and then you get, and then and then after a bit, the directors think I, I do I don't know what to do with this now. This big thing. coats, voluminous <laughs> yeah. coats. All of a sudden, the fashion is for big swing yeah. coats. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless unless Fizz gets pregnant, who knows? Who knows? Well, who, indeed, who knows? No idea how they're going to write you out for that little amount of no, time. We I don't, don't know. Because no. when you went into the jungle, you meant to visit your mum. Yes, yes, I did. I went to see Scylla. Oh, I love Scylla. So Scylla's. she could, you know, rear a. Not so ugly head again. Yeah. Um, if she could, who knows? Who knows? Who yeah, knows? yeah. But I don't know. I mean, they because you know I've just sprung it on them. Right. So uh, <laughs> I think frantically thinking about <laughs> what, what can we do, to what can do, we do now. I know. But yeah, I think um, it'll be because obviously yeah because there's a bit more of those teary scenes. I imagine in the next few months yeah. anyway. So, we could just have a few more of those. Who knows? Don't know. We'll see what happens. It could go many, many, many oh, different ways. Oh, oh, oh I know. It's oh. so sad. It's oh. so sad. Now, look, you have been brilliant for us because on this show, of course, you've done lots of cooking for yes. us. We want you to do lots, lots more. And your new we, kitchen! And my new kitchen, just especially for you. It's We've got a new kitchen. so gorgeous. <laughs> know, it's good, I love isn't it? it. It's good, good. And it's, it's got that. a nice big fridge. Yeah. Um, and you see now as well, um, I don't, well, I don't know, so... Hopefully, I'm going to be cooking something soon. I'm not going to do something weird like baby craving wise. I won't no. make people cook something really strange like okay. gherkins in but you rhubarb do crumble. fantastic, good, wholesome oh, grub that people love. Proper, love. wholesome <laughs> food. I mean, that's the kind of food that we do in our restaurant, and that's the kind of food that. And I, I love easy stuff because yeah. I'm not a. I'm not a posh. Um, a sort of chefy chef. Chefy. Yeah. Oh, I hate. You're a cook. I'm a You're cook, cook and I love cooking. I've always loved cooking anyway. Our family love cooking. And then for my little boy, I love cooking proper fresh food. Yeah. And I love stuff that you can just shove in one pot. Oh. So, you know, a hot pot. Too right. Uh, uh, things like that. A, a nice pie with just a pastry <laughs> lid on that you just shove it all in, bung it in the oven and Sounds hope for great. the best. That's my kind of cooking. No, look, little Albert, and I love that name. Mm. It's such yeah. a great name. I'm so glad you didn't call him Orange or something. You know, this sort of slave oh, to train. Yeah. Oh, yeah, names. I've heard the new one this morning by the Kardashians. What, yeah. is it true? True. True. Yeah. Yeah, if ever a baby was mis misnamed after what the dad's been up to Bless allegedly. Them. Oh, <laughs> but Albert, how is Albert going to be as a big brother? Well, yeah, hopefully. He won't be the baby anymore. Yeah, hopefully, OK, <laughs> yeah. So we kind of asked him, we've kind of tentatively said, and we said, would you like a brother or sister? Which was probably a bad question, <laughs> because... Uh, but luckily he said yes. Good. And then he said, well, what am I going to call it? So he thinks that he's got the job of the name. Right. 
which, you know, is fine. But at the moment, it might be called Chase and Marshall after Paw Patrol characters. Oh, because he quite likes that, yeah. right? Okay, so fine. we'll have to see. <laughs> you know, we'll have to... He can maybe be involved a little bit, but maybe we'll give him a choice. But I would imagine for you guys it would be a nice traditional name like Albert. No, you know, like that sort of idea. Probably. And probably... Uh, probably... Um, named after a Coronation Street character like Albert was, not on purpose, <laughs> but all the gorgeous names. Yeah. They've all been in Coronation Street. That's true. So probably that. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're absolutely right. Listen, I, must, I want to wish you all the best for the Soap Awards, of course, because oh, yes, that's coming yeah, up. Yeah, we were yeah, talking yeah. to Shane yesterday about that. Yes, yeah, he's oh, up for the award. Oh. He is up for Best Actor. We're all very oh, sad that he's going to go. I know. Fabulous, I mean, I know he kind of touched on it yesterday, but a fabulous storyline coming up for him. Yeah. It's really good. He's up for the award, Kath. Tills, they are. Eva's up for the award. Lo oh, loads of them. Um, and then us, yeah. Best soap opera, Excellent. please. Coronation Street. Soap awards dot something. I don't know. I've Look got it to up. Be, I've got Twitter. to be unbiased, but I hope you win. <laughs> right. I hope you win. Oh, no, I know you're not a soap, but whatever you... We are a soap. Yeah, you are. are you are should soap. be up for it. You so should Jenny, be up for it. thank you. It's a thank joy you. to see you. Congratulations again. Thank you very we'll much. We'll see you really soon in that kitchen. Yeah, food. Really uh, if anyone wants to tell me what they want me to cook... Oh, then, good idea. Know, that, yeah, tweet me or something. I'll tell Lorraine and she'll tell me. Good idea. Yes. Love it. Thank you, my angel. OK. Right. Lots of you have been voting in our Instagram story this morning, but just 31% of you so far say you are ready to get your legs out this week. Well, Mark is here to change your mind after the break. Yes, Lorraine, with temperatures set to creep up this week, I'm going to convince you to ditch those black tights as I've got some fab spring skirts from as little as £13 inspired by these famous faces. Trying something new with Lorraine. Sponsored by Onkin. I adore all things style and design, whether it's what you wear or where you live, which is why I'm so excited to present my selection from Tesco's premium homeware brand, Box and Ivy. After duty is incredibly fashionable right now, so give yourself the five-star treatment at home. Cater for individual tastes. Set the mood indulging all the senses. And as with any good fashion show, always end it with a clink. So to make your home even more gorgeous and at affordable prices, take a look at the Fox and Ivy range exclusively for Tesco at selected stores and online. Are you thinking of buying a stairlift? Acorn Stairlifts have produced this essential free guide to answer all your questions. What should I think about when buying a stairlift? What type of stairlift will suit my home? What difference can an Acorn Stairlift make to my life? This free guide produced by Acorn Stairlifts will make it easy for you to choose the stairlift that's right for you. So call now on 0800 20 40 60 for your free copy of your guide to buying an Acorn Stairlift. Find your spring style with a little help from Bon Prix. New season, new value prices. Sizes range from 6 to 32, and there's thousands of styles to choose from. Get 25% off and free delivery on your first order when you open a personal account. Inspire your season. Visit bonprix.co.uk today. Bon Prix. It's me. Introducing new personal power gems. Extraordinary powers to remove stains, care, and freshen. Personal power gems. Extraordinary powers. If you've been injured in an accident, talk to an experienced lawyer from Slater and Gordon, who will handle your case with skill, care, and commitment. Our lawyers secure substantial awards for victims of road traffic accidents, accidents at work asbestos-related diseases, and accidents on holiday. For a free consultation, call us today on 0800 557727 or contact us at slatergordon.co.uk. Slater & Gordon, your case is our cause. Plus free delivery when you open a personal account. Kavissa.co.uk
Surrounding yourself by good design gives you comfort and happiness, especially in the bedroom. Which is why I'm excited to present my selection from Tesco's premium homeware brand, Fox & Ivy. Putting two luxurious fabrics together gives a hotel glamour that I just love. Vintage chic is all over the catwalks at the moment. Think florals and prints that make you smile. You spend half your life in here, so don't forget to accessorise. So to make your home even more gorgeous at an affordable price, take a look at the Fox & Ivy range exclusively for Tesco in selected stores and online. Later, the warmer weather is finally here. Lisa Snowden's got her pick of the best summer dresses. Rent for sex. We'll meet the landlord with a no-strings-attached arrangement. And it was the crime which shocked the nation. Ten years after his death, the parents of Reese Jones join us for an exclusive interview this morning, 10.30. Trying something new with Lorraine. Sponsored by Onkin. extreme lengths that Gary Barlow has gone to to get in shape for his solo tour. Now, what he's been doing is using cryotherapy chamber. You can see the temperature in there drops to as low as minus 200 degrees, but apparently it makes you look young and gorgeous. Beauty knows no pain. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, Mark is back. I want a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's screaming, but yeah, I'll be yeah, up for that. No, I'll no, give no, it a go. We'll do that. We'll do that together. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, you've got a plea to us all. Yes, please. It's time to, to ditch the socks. Right. Get the legs out. Okay. That's what I said. Summer is getting here. It's, it's, it's close. We're getting some heat this week it's all exciting um yeah there seems to be a bit of a kind of vendetta as well again, with fashionistas against clear tights against Ooh. barely their tights apparently they're not liking them anymore oh no i ignore that okay. i say if Let's it gives it. you extra confidence when we're in a skirt absolutely go for it uh, we've been asking people are they going to be ready to bear their legs um it's looking like it's a no um basically 31 <laughs> percent are still saying yes i am ready yeah. but yeah 69 it's quite a lot of people actually isn't it it is quite are a lot not of ready but you're so, right there's these great tights now that look brilliant. as though exactly. you're not wearing any tights well this is a great one i went and found so because there's new technology in yeah. the tights as well so the these I went and found from Primark. These are they've got cooling technology in, Ooh. and they told us they're only two pounds as well. Which is, told us is good with your sandals. Well, yeah. Apparently they can hurt though. I've never oh. worn a pair, but right. I have been told that it can hurt. It I'll try them. But Let give you know. them a go. I want I, I want to know. Also, these ones from Marks and Spencers. These are cooling, um, and they get a kind of oil. Oh, I like that. On your effect. leg, which I'm quite like. Yes, yeah, I like that. So that's quite a good one that's to go good. with. Also, these from John Lewis as well. So these have got compression uh, aid in there. So as in, if you get sore legs at the right. end of the summer's day, okay. this is going to help circulation. If you're on your feet all day, exactly, working. Exactly, on your yeah. feet all day. So they're seven pounds for them. Also, if you just want an extra bit of confidence, Spanx are now doing actual sheer tights as well. Oh, yeah? I'd say they're probably near a 20 denier as opposed to your five and your seven gotcha. denier. But still, if you want that extra air of confidence, they are pricey. They're 24 pounds, but they do, they, they do work. And I thought, these were brilliant as well. Uh, these are different skin tones. Oh, of course, quality. yeah, that makes sense. I know, so, so six good. different skin tones in there, so that's absolutely fantastic. So there Excellent. we have it. Brilliant, and in just a moment, you've got some spring skirts. Gorgeous skirts, and I'm for, loving yours. For as little as <laughs> £13. First of all, here's the competition. Good morning. Here's another chance for you to win £105,000. I've been travelling around the UK. Today, I'm in Liverpool. That's the River Mersey. And over there is the Liver Building. I literally could be a tour guide. Listen, I've got this cash burning a hole in my pocket and I want to give it to somebody watching right now. £105,000. It is a life-changing amount of money. Just start thinking about what you do with it. It works out at just over £2,000 extra in your bank account every week for an entire year. That's huge money. Everybody wants to win and somebody will win. Somebody wins every single one of our competitions and that next big winner could be you. So for your chance to win, here's what you need to do. For another chance to win, text CASH to 6557. Text costs two pounds plus one standard network rate message or go to the website. Entries cost two quid. You can call 09068 78557. Calls cost two pounds plus your network access charge or post your name and phone number to BK14, PO Box 7558, Derby, DE1, Zero and Q. Entrants must be 18 or over. Lines close at 2 p.m. on Friday the 4th of May. May the 4th be with you. Good luck. <laughs> It's a huge amount of money. Who would like to win 105 grand? They need the phone to enter. No, don't tell them. They need the phone. They need the phone. phone. Thank you, Andy. Mark is back. I am indeed. So we're talking skirts. Now, something bizarre happened yesterday when I was out and about looking for skirts. Um, quite a few places don't do skirts anymore. Really? I say bring back the skirt. It's a very strange. So I went into Wallace. They don't have one skirt in for the whole. Basically, they're not selling skirts. 
Hopefully and I think it's time to bring it back because actually I they agree. can be incredibly flattering. Mm. You know, so there's some really beautiful ones out there. It is time to get your legs out. I've even yes. got a mankle out. Look at that. You've got mankle. Mankle. There we are. There we go. All right. Well, there we are. <laughs> all right. Let's get Andy out first of all in the first skirt here. Bro oh, I love Bro that. That's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Um, and it's it's so easy to wear. Mm. Literally fling it on. Um, it's uh, from Primark. It comes in a pale pink as well. Beautiful. 13 pounds, which is just that is such a great price point. Um, and long skirts coming back. Yeah, yeah, so we're seeing all of those maxis coming in. So, you know, you don't even need to get your legs out at this point. <laughs> it's good news all round. But I think just a, a really good wardrobe staple, that one there. So really nice indeed. Thank you very much, my it's darling. Gorgeous. That's lovely. Um, next, you can go something for a little bit dressier as well. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a really, really nice look. So it's this kind of, a, you know, these kind of like French and Viennese laces that mm. we see now. You know, these all used to have to be handmade. That's why you only saw them on the catwalks and in designer shops. Now they can be machine made. And I have to say, I think that's an exceptional one. Beautiful. What I liked about this was the length of it. Yeah. So very similar skirts, but they were all a little bit shorter. Too short, that's and, perfect. And that's a perfect length. Yeah. It's beautiful midi length. And also if you are scared of wearing a midi because you think it's going to cut you off in your car, mm. just because you get just a bit of a silhouette of a length sure. through, that's a great one to go with. From Miss Selfridge, 44 pounds, that one. And love all those pastel shades with it. Very nice. Thank you very much, love. That's brilliant. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, next, sticking with the maxi, or Ooh. is it? Is it that kind of midi maxi thing? I like on? this. So it's another pleated uh, look. I think a lot of people are scared of pleated because they feel that it's I always think it's going to make you hippie. It's going to make you hippie. Yeah. Can I just say, just go up a size. Oh, OK. Just go up a size, so just allow those pleats to just drop. I gotcha. would say that. So ignore the sizing and just try it on. Also, obviously, you can combat that as well with a long line top. Because sure. you can wear a top out. You don't need to tuck it in. But, but that looks lovely. This is a beautiful one from littlemistress.co.uk. Comes in at £58 to that one. And just love the fact that it's got that midi length mm. and then that maxi length as well. So, Sorry. again, still covering a bit of legs. Thank you very much, <laughs> my darling. That's lovely. Um, next, we have got uh, the lovely Andy. And, uh, oh, I are. like this. It's a good one, isn't it? Oh, that's gorgeous. Because we're seeing these big, bold florals, some gorgeous colour ways um, out there at the moment a bit Spain. of a kind of tropical feel mm. as well with this um, this is from Dorothy Perkins 24 pounds for this what I love about this is the fact that it was in my bag and I didn't need to steam it at all <gasps> yay Perfect. ironing required a so bit. <laughs> it's one of those amazing almost like, I, I hate to use the word scuba fabric because I think it scares people and yeah. it shouldn't it's just a, a daft word but it's that kind of like you know it, it neoprene kind of it's you know you, you can do anything to crush. it super comfy great for a special occasion but for work wear as well I think Funny. it's fabulous beautiful very nice indeed Thank you. Thank you very much, my love. That's great. Uh, next, we have got Sasha in this. This is quite, Ooh. I think it's my you, Scott. I, I can, like I can this. see you in this. And I love the black band. That's, That's I like that as really, well. really, really classy. Now, it's from Marks and Spencers, mm. and it comes in at £55. Now, I think that looks an awful lot more. It does. You would see that usually for the £100 mark, mm. you know, in a lot of high street stores. Um, what I like about these skirts as well is, obviously, it's very dressed up there. You could do a fascinator, and you'd be ready to go to a wedding. True. But I'd like that with a black T-shirt and a Ooh. pair of little sandals. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. So nice. Nice for going, yep. for, you know, a drink in the summer's evening yeah, 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 kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. I think it's, you know, it's actually a lot more versatile than you think it sure. is. So a great one there. Thank you very much, my love. That's brilliant. Uh, next, we have got Nesh. We're going for some bold colour here. Oh, now I wouldn't have thought that that would work, and it works beautifully, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Those two colours look well, that's, so good together. I had to put that combination together. Yeah. This, this great, you know, kind of cobalt blue, and then this amazing Stunning. mustard skirt. Um, it comes in from Next at forty-five pounds for that one there, um, and again that beautiful uh, lace look as well. Stunning. It's, a, it's a great colourway. Thank you very much, Thank Madame. Nish. Thank you. And then let's bring Andy out in this Ooh. one here. A great daytime skirt, this Lovely. one here. Um, so easy to wear. It looks great, as you can see, with a pair of heels. And love that bit there, the fact that oh, it so drops cute. down. Yeah. So nice. Um, but a pair of trainers, good news as well. So there you go. You Andy, like thank you. Oh, Andy, I'm calling you it's back. Right. Call thank me anything. You. I to all sorts. <laughs> it, was it was lovely, Andy, so thank you. And that's all for today. Tomorrow, I'll be asking Piers Morgan about those cosmetic surgery rumours. I did compare them to an egg earlier on. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>
to try out the weird and wonderful ways Hollywood A-listers are fighting the ageing process. <laughs> Slap it on. Join Sherry Houston and roll back the years. If it does anything, yep, do it. Monday on Lorraine. Later, joining Andrea, Janet, Colleen and Gloria Hunniford will be the irrepressible Brian Connolly. From Larry the Loafer to the West End and waltzing onto the Strictly dance floor, they'll be talking about being a funny man for 40 years and why he's hoping to help get entrepreneurs laughing all the way to the bank. Brian Connolly, later at 12.30. What do you want to achieve by this time next year? I'll have hands to have overcome my fear of dogs. I want to walk again. What a difference a year can make. This time next year starts tonight at 8 on ITV.